Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Huh? Let's go. Great afternoon. Good afternoon. Y'all already know it's your man. Super bad. The kingdom kid. Look, it's your job to, to, you know, to be there for people, but you can't change nobody, man. Proverbs 18, 14 says, the spirit of man will sustain him in sickness, but who can bear a broken spirit? So, you know how somebody can be sick or they're in the hospital or something like that. You'll, you know, man, I'm going to go, I'm going to go see them, man. Just to encourage them, man, to get well, get better. You know what I'm saying? So anybody can do that. Anybody, when somebody's not feeling good or under the weather, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, they're going through something. Let me go ahead. You know, I'm going to go over here and help them bear this burden. Because the Bible does tell us in, um, in Galatians that, you know, bear one another burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. So, you know, we, 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 we definitely supposed to, you know, be there for one another when we're, when we're going through stuff like that. But then the next, the next verse that was right there in proverbs 18 14 it was who can bear a broken spirit nobody can bear a broken spirit you want to know why because even when it comes down to yourself and you broken and somebody's trying to fix you and they can't fix you you know what i'm saying or you find yourself trying to fix yourself and you didn't made it worse you know what i'm saying you were broken but now you just shattered now you know what i'm saying so what I'm getting at is, is the fact that a lot of times we're trying to change people. And you got to remember only God can change them. Only God can change you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We can't change ourselves and we can't change nobody. That's why we got to go to the almighty God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That definitely does change us, man. Because we can want change for somebody all we want. We can want it for them. But the thing is, they got to want it for themselves. Just like we got to want it for ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Like, guys. God want all of us to change, everybody. He want to see everybody, you know what I'm saying, make the moves and get right with him. But that's something that we all have to make that choice and embrace that change, you know what I'm saying? And there's nothing to beat yourself up over, you know what I'm saying, if you do have a broken spirit. Because the Bible says that God is near to the brokenhearted and saves such a contrite in the spirit. So, you know what I'm saying, that's in Psalms 34, I believe. You know, that's why you got to praise your way through. But see, that's what we have to understand, that when it comes to somebody that has a broken spirit, we really just need to give them and dedicate them to the Lord because we're not going to be able to understand them the way the Lord can understand them because the Lord knows how the devil came in and tried to still kill and destroy them and traumatize them and see to, to the human eye you know we probably look at some things and demonize them and, and criminalize them and all type of stuff and we shouldn't be doing that we should be loving them and comforting them and, and encouraging them so that's 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 all you really can do <laughs> for real for real. when it comes to somebody with a broken spirit when somebody's already a, already a damaged good you can't fix that ain't it crazy every time you try to fix somebody they end up changing you you end up becoming them and you won't even try to become them because it ain't your job your job is to pray to comfort them that's it you can't change nobody so if they're too broken for you, just let them go and give them to God. doesn't mean that you gave up on them. you just giving them up to God because you can't do nothing about it. You're going to lose yourself trying to cause them to be found. But the only way they can be found is in the Lord, man. So just remember that. You can't change people. All you can do is love them, pray for them, encourage them, speak life into them. But they got to change for themselves. Just like we got to change for ourselves. That's why we got we got to seek the Lord. You know what I'm saying? So just remember that. You're just there to love them. Only God can change them. All right. And I love how my uh, big brother and Christ um, apostle Abel Boma. Love you, bro. You know what I'm saying? But he said it real. You know how back in the day they be like, you can't beat us. Join us. No. If you cannot beat them, leave them, yo. Stop trying to, you know, some battles you just got to let go and just give to God. But no, ain't no beat them and join them and then let the devil still kill and destroy you. Hell and no, okay? <laughs> but actually, if you cannot beat them and you see it's just too much for you, just leave them. It don't matter if they get emotional and all in their feelings, man. You got to do what's best for you at the end of the day because you got to remember, you got to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You feel me? But all right, man, I love y'all. Shalom, shalom. Peace be unto you.